video, I have a Hey Little Magpie haul to share with you, featuring mostly items from the new Pink Paisley Page Evans Turn the Page range. There's a lot of P's in that and it's quite hard to say, but yes, so there is just two items that are not from that collection, so I'll show you those first and then move on to the, you know, the collection. So let's get into this lovely box. So the first of the two non-turn the page items is this My Mind's Eye Trick or Treat sticker sheet. It's just a one-sided, so six by twelve sheet. It's just just Halloweeny stuff, really. I do want some stuff from the Pink Paisley Spellcast collection. It looks it's really my style of Halloween. That one, like I really like the look of it. But Hey Little Magpie didn't have the six by six paper pad or the ephemera pack, which is like the two main things that I wanted. So maybe another time so yes this is just some halloween stuff for now so yes there's not too much to say about that it's quite clunky the graphics does that make sense but i still like them and i like this happy halloween and that pumpkin is fun and stuff like that so yes just pick that up for two quid then adding to my ever-growing collection of Mambi Pocket Pages, because I love Mambi Pocket Pages, I actually think I prefer them to proper Project Life things. Don't hate me for saying that, but I do. Although the Project Life do speciality cards better than Mambi do, but for the standard cards, I love these. So yes, this is just a pack I didn't have already. I have most of them I think at this point but yes so this one I think they just called it follow your heart or create beauty you know what man be like for not putting names on things but yes I won't get them all out as 72 to go through that's going to take forever but you can see hopefully on the back there the kind of thing that is in this just lots of florals and pretty calligraphy and sentiments and all that kind of thing so yes very pretty there we go. All right then, so on to turn the page. And I have just remembered I've ordered two papers that are not from this collection, but they are still pink paisley. So we'll just go with the flow and show when when they come in. But yes, so just to say about this collection, as soon as Paige Evans started sharing sneak peeks of this a couple of months ago on Instagram, I knew that this collection was for me. I just was so excited about it. And this latest, you know, the release they release quite a few collections at one in one lump and out of all the collections that have come out recently this is the only one that's really made me go mm, yes so yes i mean there's elements i like out of say chamel's glitter girl and there's i like quite a lot of amy tan's hustle and heart and a bit of my mind's eye the blush one but this one is just the one i wanted all of the things who probably didn't need to explain that but there we go. So yes, uh, let's um, let's get into it, shall we? So first is the ephemera pack, which I suppose I will go into really, really quickly for you guys because I know when I watch videos like this, I'm like, show me in the ephemera. So yes, I will do that if I can open it. Okay, here we go. If I can get them out, maybe. Yes, maybe. There we go. So we have florals. I will go quite quickly with this. Don't. Don't worry about it, but yes. Oh, stuck. Lots of florals. This is a very florally range. So, yeah, little cup stars, birdie, like a parrot or a cockatoo, um, some tags and stuff, old endings, new beginnings. For those who don't know, this range is all about turning the page, new beginnings, and all that kind of, kind of stuff. So, there's lots of phrases and quotes and sentiments that reflect that. For example, change is good. So, yes, and I've never been one that's very good at change, so it's something I'm working on. Look at that. A book saying turn the page. That has got to be one of my favourites. And there's lots of foiling in this range as well, which is always a good thing. Got paper aeroplanes start here. Some little tag bannery things. Cards or like that. It's magical. And then some frames as well that pop out. Like, whoa. There you go. There's an example. And that's got multiple layers of poppy outness so yes there is the ephemera pack which is i don't know how many pieces does it say 40 pieces there we go next is the four page sticker book so the first sheet is quite hard to open there i'm just gonna fold there we go so yes the first one is like the acetate plasticky whatever you want to say stickers with foiling in as you can see new day fresh start dream chasing 
and an alpha there. Love that dark teal colour. It is very pretty. This one is the same sort of material, kind of type of stickers, <laughs> words, and same kind of thing with phrases and stuff like that on, but also superhero family, celebrate today, just, yeah, pretty. Then we've got alphas in the floral, which are just so stunning. Look at those florals, mm, yummy. And the last one is these. Uh, these are more like cardstock stickers, but with a shiny finish, kind of, yes. I've got a little sort of banner thing up here, some tags. Um, not tags, what's the word I'm looking for? Tabs, tabs, like tags, but with a different letter. So yes, and then various graphics and stuff down there. So yes, there's a sticker book. Then I also got the washi booklet, which I did not know was so ginormously mahoosive, but that's fine, and big is good. Go big or go home, you know what they say. So yes, there's only two, no, lying, three pages, that's fine. So yes, this is the first sheet, and some of these are cut, so they're not just strips, they're cut in a way that they're like this one is, if I can peel it off, which apparently I can't, there we go, there we go, ah, go away, hesitate, yes, so I got a scalloped edge, there's the point I'm making, some of them are die cut, some of them are not, you might be able to see on the gold one there, is die cut, those butterflies are making me very happy. And then we've got this page. Love the cups. Love them, love them. There's another scalloped edge one with navy and gold foiling and then mint and gold foiling. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I think I'm going to cry. And then the last page has some die cut stars, more butterflies, phrases, wonderful sand diagonal stripes in all of like my favourite colours. Like navy, mint teal turquoise and gold foiling <laughs> yay anyway that's the washi booklet then there is the thicker pack now i didn't get the alpha thickers because in all honesty i wasn't that struck by them and there's alphas in the little sticker book and there's so many phrases and sentiments and stuff in here that like you got a lot of titles pre-made for you kind of thing and i'm sure i've, I've got plenty of thickers that are gonna match it vaguely at least so Anyway, point being, I just got this pack of, you know, decorative thickers and just lots of florals. There's another book, a turn the page book. I love that so much. I cannot even like express how much. Oh, BTW, you're pretty great. Change is good. It's a little things and I don't know how well you can see, but there is foiling on some of these as well. Trust the timing of your life. Believe you can. Wonderful see the good is what that one says and then lots of decorative elements as well so yay so then we have the big mother which is the 12 by 12 paper pad now there is a 6 by 6 in this range and hey little magpie didn't have it i might point out when um hey little magpie sent an email out saying it's in stock and as soon as i got that email i jumped straight onto the site and ordered all the things i wanted and like 20 minutes after I checked out this was already out of stock so I moved fast for a reason but they did anyway point being they didn't have the six by six I don't know why I did want it I will be keeping an eye out for it they may have it now I don't know but anyways for now this will do and this has got all of the gold foiling going on so it's glorious so let's have a little look now this is a little bit of a pain to show you because of this and I'm not going to rip it off for you guys, I'm afraid. I'm not I'm not prepared to do that. But when I do this, it blocks the lighting a little bit. So I'm going to have to show you this way, Anna, an angle. But anyway, so the first is this very pretty cut apart with journaling cards on. With all sort of sorts of quotes and phrases and sentiments. And they're all in gold foiling. If I turn it this way, you may be able to get a better sense of the gold foiling. They are all single-sided as well, I should probably point that out. So this one has got this sort of wavy pattern on with various phrases, new day, new opportunities. Uh, if you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working towards it, be yourself, don't apologise, lovely things like that. I would probably use this, I would probably cut these and use them across pages, I don't know if I'd use it as a background. 
I do not know. Next is this very pretty sort of falling stars pattern. Love the colour of that one. Some of them I don't need to show you like that way around because there's nothing to read. So we'll go from the sideways angle. This one is... It's really pretty. <laughs> I've no idea what I'd use it for, to be honest, but it is beautiful and all of the foiling going on as well. So yummy, yummy. This one, very simple, but very pretty rainbow pattern. Something I'd probably use more for backing. Or actually, you know, it could make quite a nice sort of background paper. I'm more tempted to use it horizontally rather than vertically. I don't know, we'll find out. This one with the yellow and the white flowers and it's going from bottom to top dark to light in a fady ombre kind of thing going on. This one is just ridiculous. Those flowers with the foiling in the centre of the flowers and oh my goodness could that be any more gorgeous. Then we've got paper airplanes, really really simple and really really pretty. A tealy sort of colour with this Moroccan tiling kind of effect going on there, I think I'm going to call it. I can't quite tell if that's going from dark to light or if it's the same all over and my eyes are just going funny. I don't know. This one is another of my favourites. I'm going to show you this way so you can see sort of what it's supposed to look like. Sorry, I hit the tripod there. Sorry, sorry, hard to avoid. So you just, all these cups and like coffee mugs and stuff and they've got florals on and I'm gonna fussy cut the crap out of this and yeah getting way too excited but if I show you that way you can see the gold foiling a little bit better there's a hexagonal hex, hexagonal hexagonal I don't know but yes there's that one and there's like this sort of dis slightly distressed effect I don't know how well that's showing up but like little bits of hint towards distressedness is what I'm going to say there. Lovely pink there and this one's doing another for like dark to light ombre with going diagonally as well. Nice background paper there. This one I don't know how I'd use it to be honest because it's I would find it too heavy for a background piece but the colours are very very pretty. Not as keen on like the kind of beigey brownie colours in there but the navy and the gold and the mint and everything. Beautiful. Another one of my favourites with the little florals, so, so, so nice. This is lovely, two colours I am very, very fond of. Have a plan, actually, for this as a backing for something for a more masculine scrapbook page I was thinking about doing. This one is also beautiful with the gold foiling flowers. Can you see that foiling? Can you see it? Can you see it? Ah. And we have birdies as well. Yay for birdies. It's really annoying that I can't show you that way without ruining the lighting. I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry. But yes, I think they're swallows, I think. I think they're swallows, which is cool because I see swallows in my garden every evening. So yay. A pink, or peachy pink, I would say, actually. Speckled dots thing going on. Another ombre effect on that one. This one it's another one where I think it's beautiful, but I've no idea what to do with it. The Moroccan tiles thing isn't so much my thing, or the tiles in general, but I do think it's really pretty. I'm very likely to cut this apart. I think it's kind of designed for that really, isn't it? But yes, some of them here, like the flowers up here and the little hearts here, particularly pretty. And then it gets to a point where it kind of repeats but kind of doesn't because obviously we've already seen this one but some of them we haven't. It's weird. So I'm going to go through a little quicker because as I said some repeat. So you've seen that one, you've seen the stars, you've not seen this geometric one. Very nice. Another masculine spread I think planning for this one with the geometric gold foiling. Very, very nice. We've seen that one before. We've seen that one before. Come back. We have not, however, seen this one before. And this is another stunner. These flowers with the gold foiling. I'll do another wiggle so you can see the foiling. Yes. That's going to be fussy cut. I will assume it, yeah, probably going to be fussy cut that one. Paper airplanes, airplanes, I think we've seen before. That one we've seen before. 
butterflies with gold foiling. I love them so much. Another fussy cutting opportunity there. Hexagons we have seen. Pink, that one I think we've seen. Stars with the foiling. Again, another cut, fussy cutting one there. That wouldn't take too long to fussy cut that one actually, just like 10 minutes or so. So that's a nice one when I've just got like 10 minutes to spare, have a little tea break or something. Gorgeous, gorgeous florals again. I've seen, I'm pretty sure we've seen that before. I don't know because I've been looking at this collection online so often, I've, I've forgotten what I've shown you and what not. And anyway, is this the last? No, it's not the last. So this one, we better go this way quickly at first because obviously we've got all these sort of like speech bubbles with phrases and stuff on another cutting opportunity here and all the gold foiling as well so we'll go sideways to appreciate the gold foiling and yes love them just love them so much we've got the swallows again the pink dots and then that is the last one so there you go oh that was a bit of an epic journey with the uh 12 12 paper pad as i said i'm on the lookout for the six six as well because i want it and just last thing to show you are some 12 12 papers so i got a couple of the patterns and papers i really really liked from turn the page that i wanted a double of although i didn't realize there was already two of this in the, in the um paper pad but never mind i don't care because it's very pretty and the, the other side is different so, so then again, I can, so I can use that one. We've kind of got a slightly tribal zigzag going on and an ombre effect. So we'll keep it on that side, I think. This one is those florals again for cutting apart, but um, not cutting apart, fussy cutting, sorry. But this one doesn't have the gold foiling on. So yes, there we go. And the other side has got this yellow on. Then I got another one of the coffee cups and the mugs and everything just because i like it so 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 much and then the other side looks like that with the gray not it's actually no it's quite nice actually but i will be using this side one thing i will say the background of this one with all the mugs and stuff on with the it's a slightly off-white background with mint green speckles i would have loved a paper with just that that would make such a beautiful backing don't you think then another one with butterflies and Obviously, as I keep saying, no foiling. Oh, I haven't told you the numbers. I'm so, so sorry. So that one is paper 18. That one is paper 15. That one is paper 7. That one is paper 4. Then this one, paper 2, with those beautiful, beautiful florals on. Just so, so stunning. And then the other side. I'm quite fond of this, actually. And it's not something I would really usually like, but I quite... Yeah, I like it. We're just with these lines on the horizontal straight lines in all these different colours. But as much as I like it, it's all about that side. Then as well as those, I have the three non-turn the page ones that I mentioned earlier, um, but are pink paisley. So first is paper two from Summer Lights. I totally missed out on Summer Lights. I just, I don't know why I wasn't, oh, I think I was trying to be good or something. I don't know. And now I regret it because it's, a lot of it's gone I'm sure I'll be able to get it at a later date but this paper I particularly wanted for a project so I've got this one as I said paper two has that tiling pattern on the background but that's the side I want that beautiful sort of sunsetty thing going on there stunning and this one which I can't remember what collection it is from I think it's from oh my heart but I'm not sure. So what Pink Paisley do is they do write the collection down here. So Pink Paisley Summer Lights. But if it's a Paige Evans collection, they just write Paige Evans. They don't write which Paige Evans it is. And by this stage, there's a good couple of them. So anyway, but I think it's on my heart. I could be wrong. Whatever. Paper 4. Lovely. Sort of another sort of sky one. But more of a cloudy sky. I don't know. But I really like it. And then a dot pattern on the back and then the very last one sorry there is a motorbike going past shush, shush, shush. right yes sorry last last thing is this one from oh my heart and i have just checked that this is yes from oh my heart because i've got the six six paper pad and i just flicked through it and that's in it so there we go so paper 15 from oh my heart i do already have this in 1212 but i want another one because i am a book person and 
yes that's that's pretty much it and the other side is actually really really beautiful as well with those uneven striped things going on in blue but yes so another one of those Right, there we go then, my little haul from Hey Little Magpie, mostly featuring Paige Evans' Turn the Page. Such a beautiful collection. I, if you're like umming and ahhing about it, I really recommend it. It's friggin' stunning. And yes, plus the other couple of bits and three non-Turn the Page papers, but there we go. And just lastly, one thing I forgot to show you was my little pencil from HeyLittleMagpie.com that came free with my order. Yay! It's the little things that make you happy, isn't it? So there you go, my little pencil. I'm now very fond of. So yes, thank you so, so much for watching. Look out for some projects that will be made with these items. And yes, I'm off. Okay, see you around. Bye-bye!